Now, next one is grasp the peacock's tail. That is probably the most complicated out of the seven before. <laughs> yeah. It's Peng Lu Ji An. Four applications. Okay. Let me just show it. Remember, we finish off like this. Here. The next one is we carry on circling to halfway, we hold a ball. Now the weight carry up because we were the weight was on this side. Now as we circle, we shift the weight to the left. Before we hold the ball, the weight is already on this side. And hold the ball, then we turn again 90 degrees but step a little bit more. Then forward, Peng. Peng. Okay, now it looks like the beginning, the first one, doesn't it? <coughs> but it's not the same. Okay, the difference is the first one, you're more or less using the front arm, the whole arm here and the shoulder as an application. But this one here, you're more or less using the back of your wrist as an application. Okay, so you're actually striking with here, strike. And normally it's about level of your chest, chest level. The other one is level of your nose and the hand slightly diagonal upwards. Here is the hand facing inwards and your focus is on the wrist. Okay, so let me show you it again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight. Four movements. One, two, three, four. Four moves. Okay, now these four, it forms a very uh, unique sort of a martial practice in Tai Chi. We call it pushing hands. <laughs> this is actually, uh, the, you can say, the, the, one of the, uh, the four main uh, pushing hands practice that is actually being demonstrated in, uh, the, in Tai Chi forms as it's original. Some other tends to be very subtle and you don't notice it. Yeah, although they are in there, but you don't see it as clearly. Because there are eight, uh, what we call, uh, methods, you can say, yeah? Eight methods is Peng Lu Ji An, Cai Lie Zou Kao. Peng Lu Ji An is what we've done. Peng Lu Ji An. Okay? And what we did, Cai Le Zou Kao, is actually already in there, but we just don't see it. <laughs> yeah? Cai Le Zou. We've done it. Yeah? Zou, sorry, Zou Kao. Using the shoulders. Okay? So those four are not as clear because they tend to be hidden in the postures. But this four here is very distinctive because they are actually demonstrated on its own, on their own, yeah? Peng. So, similar principle, number one, from here, we carry on circle, shift weight to the right, hold the ball, to the left, sorry, to the left, hold the ball, then step out onto the right, again split. But this time, as we split, the lower hand goes up and then forward to the left center of, in line with your chest. <coughs> then next one, reach out your both hands as if you're trying to grab hold of something and then gently sit back here, sit back, push your legs and gently swing your arms downwards and then swing it sideways like this. You remember brick, run, uh, brush knee twist steps? Three, two, three. <laughs> This one here is like this. So swing, okay? And then come back palm to palm, but at this point, as if we're 
touching the pulse. The three fingers, like this, okay? You don't have to touch hands, but if you like, you can. Okay, just from there. And, nope. You see my elbows? Slightly lower than your shoulders, but not dropped. Okay, it's like this. Okay, it forms a circle. Okay, but here, why do we have to touch the pulse? Really, it's just a, because you can put it anywhere. <laughs> you can put it on here. Yeah, you can put it on your wrist. And you can put it on your shoulder and your elbows. But when we practice a form, we can't tell the beginners. Today, you put it on your, on your wrist. Tomorrow, you put it on your hands. Take next day, you put it on your elbows. So there's always a standard way of putting it. So everybody practice, you know, sort of the same. So in the 8, 16, and the 24, we say we put the hands like this, as if your fingers is testing your pulse, fingertips, okay? Now from, come in here and squeeze outwards like this. Now make sure your elbows is not totally flat like this or not dropped. Still like slight drop, slight dip back up, okay, like this. So from here, swing, from in, then push. When you're near to the end, you open your hands like this, and then roll back to the chest, press down slightly, then push back out and up. Okay, this is called roll back and push. Pong, lu, ji. Okay, feet. Can you notice that? First one, lu, toes are down. Second one, an, toes are up. Okay, why? <laughs> there's no reason for that. <laughs> well, there's no, no significant reason for that. It is depending on some doing, doing pushing hands, yeah, and practice. Because when you put your foot down, you can only go back so far. But when you raise your toes, you can go back a bit more. And as an exercise, it actually helps strengthen your legs better, exercise your legs better. I'm here. That's how, as far as I can go. If I go any further, I'll fall over. But if I raise my toes, you see? Raise my toes, I can go a bit further. So that means if I'm in an adverse position where I'm actually here, in order to get out of it, I just simply raise the toes and dip. Okay, so really do it two things together just to give us a taste of both sides. Okay, so the first one, Pang, Lu, both feet are down. Ji, An, toes are up. Okay, so that, that applies to the 8, 16 and the 24. Some traditional routines, they don't lift their toes. That's not wrong, okay? They just prefer that way. But in the 8, 16 and 24, we do it this way so you can have a feel of both uh, off and on, okay? So let's try that again together. Circle, shift weight, one, hold the ball. Turn, step out. Two, pong, three, reach out, sit back and swing. Nice and relax, use your waist more than your arms. Come back to the center, squeeze, open, roll back, push. Okay, good. Let's try that again. Okay, ready? So circle, hold the ball. One. Turn, step. Two. Pong. Three. Reach out. Four. Swing. Five. Come back. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Open, roll, eight, 
and nine. Okay, relax. One thing I can see that everybody seems to be doing quite well is concaving your chest. <laughs> A lot of people do this. Yeah? So everybody's doing well <coughs> using the chest. Yeah? Good. Okay? So roll is the same thing. When you roll, you deliberately sort of sing this from here. Roll back. Roll. So it becomes like a little roundish thing. And then when you push, chest, get back, arms go out, shoulders go out a little bit as a push. Okay, so it's just like this, round it. Okay, let's do that one more time and we'll do the last one. Okay, from here. One, hold the ball. Two, step. Three, pong. Reach out, Lu. Come back, Ji. Open, roll, toes up, and. Don't forget this one square, two, hold it still. Three, square, square, no, because then you haven't got that forward thrust, okay, thrust, so square, but you must do that back foot in order to get your hip square.